We have come to the close of what has been a brutal year for investment portfolios. Stocks have got hammered and even the bond market has gotten hammered. Usually bonds are a safe place to hide, but not in 2022. The Bloomberg US aggregate bond index was down over 12% on the year. So really the only true place to hide was cash and maybe some high yield CDs. With that being said, all of that is behind us and it is time to look forward to 2023. Let's take a look here at some notable asset management firms and their 2023 price targets for the S&P 500. They range from a high of 4,500 to a low of 3,400 and have an average of roughly 4,031. As of this video, the S&P 500 is trading around 3,830, which means the majority of analysts expect the market to be positive on the year. Many analysts agree that the first half of 2023 will be much of the same. Stocks will continue to be under pressure, but that back half is where people are getting a little more optimistic. And if things work out that way, that could be great for long-term investors as you can have an opportunity to buy high quality stocks at a discounted rate. And with that being said, in today's video, we are going to look at my top 10 REITs for 2023. Now again, just because the REITs are on this list doesn't mean that the stocks cannot go down further. We just spoke about that the first half of 2023 could see some more pressures, but some of these REITs are trading at great valuations right now, and I will go through each of those as we go through the video. But in the long term, I have a ton of confidence in each and every one of these REITs that we cover today. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Hey everyone, Mark Rusin here, back for another video. And in today's video, we are talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is REITs, or Real Estate Investment Trusts. For some of those that know, I invest roughly 15 to 20% of my entire dividend portfolio in REITs. It is a great way to add yield and real estate exposure to your portfolio. But before we jump in, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool has a ton of great resources for investors of all types. And right now, if you go to fool.com forward slash mark, you could sign up to receive their top 10 stocks to buy right now. With that being said, let's get started with our first REIT, which is American Tower, stock ticker AMT. American Tower is a cell tower REIT with a market cap of $99 billion. On the year, shares of American Tower are down 26%. The company has a portfolio of roughly 223,000 communication towers and growing. This day and age, the telecommunication giants of AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile are battling it out, offering huge discounts and subsidizing new phones in order to acquire new customers. That has put major pressure on margins of those companies. Instead, why not own the infrastructure behind those companies, which they desperately need, which is exactly what American Tower is. They build and own the cell towers and lease them out to the likes of these telecom giants. They have single tenant towers, double and even triple occupancy towers, and the more tenants they are able to get on these towers, the higher the margins for the company. The continued rollout of 5G only adds to the need for more cell towers, giving American Tower plenty of tailwinds moving forward. American Tower currently pays a dividend of $5.88 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 2.8%. The company has increased their dividend for 10 consecutive years now, and they have a five-year dividend growth rate of 16%, making American Tower a rare dividend growth stock. In terms of valuation, shares of American Tower currently trade at 20.5 next year's AFFO estimates, and over the past five years, shares have actually traded closer to 25.6, suggesting shares are undervalued compared to their historical averages. REIT number two is Prologis, stock ticker PLD. Prologis is a premier logistics REIT with a market cap of $106 billion. On the year, shares are down 32%. The company has over 4,900 buildings in North and South America, as well as in Europe and Asia, making them very diversified. Some of the top customers include Amazon, Home Depot, and FedEx. If you are a believer that e-commerce will continue to be a growing trend moving forward, especially considering e-commerce sales still account for less than 15% of total retail sales, then this is a great REIT to consider for your portfolio. The stock was performing fine in 2022 until it got hammered in a short period of time. First, Amazon came out and announced they had too much warehouse space. 
which sent shares of PLD tumbling. But PLD has some of the best facilities around. Amazon did not mention them at all and has not terminated a single lease to this point. The second thing that happened right around the same exact time that Amazon announced that is that Prologis announced that they would be acquiring Duke Realty, something they just recently closed on, which further expands their portfolio. Shares of PLD pay an annual dividend of $3.16 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 2.8%. The company has paid a growing dividend for nine consecutive years and counting. And like we saw with American Tower, Prologis has also been growing their dividend at a strong clip as they have a five-year dividend growth rate of 12.4%. In 2022, the company actually hiked their dividend 25%. In terms of valuation, shares of PLD currently trade at 24.1 next year's AFFO earnings compared to a five-year average of 28.7 times. The third REIT on our list is Realty Income, stock ticker O. We couldn't go through a top 10 list without mentioning the monthly dividend company. After all, Realty Income has been the gold standard when it comes to REITs, and retail investors all over have fallen in love because of their consistent results and their monthly dividend. Currently, Realty Income has a market cap of $41 billion. I recently did an entire stock analysis detailing out Realty Income. I will leave that link down in the description below where you can check out those details as well. Currently, Realty Income pays an annual dividend of $2.98 per share, which equates to a high dividend yield of 4.7%. The company has been paying a growing dividend every year they've been a public company, which means 28 years they've been doing this. And also that makes them a dividend aristocrat. The company has a 3.1% five-year dividend growth rate, and they actually increase their dividend every quarter. In terms of valuation, Realty Income trades for 16.2 times next year's AFFO earnings, compared to a historical average of 19.5. The company tends to always trade at a premium compared to its peers. If you want to get started by investing in some of these REITs, then definitely check out the promotion going on over at Webull. If you sign up for a new Webull account and deposit just $1, just deposit $1 into that brand new account, they will give you up to 12 free stocks valued up to over $30,000. Definitely take advantage of this promotion. See the link down in the description below. The fourth REIT on our list today is Avalon Bay Communities, stock ticker AVB. Avalon Bay Communities is the largest apartment REIT on the market today. The company currently has a market cap of $23 billion. On the year, shares of Avalon Bay are down a staggering 35%. The company owns more than 80,000 apartment units in prime locations such as New York, New England, Northern and Southern California, as well as Seattle. Inflation has not only driven prices of food higher, but rents have increased as well, and the company's latest earnings reflected that. Management also believes there is plenty of tailwinds as rental increases continue to play out. The real estate sector continues to be under heavy pressure due to housing shortages, rising interest rates, and dwindling buyer power. This could add further pressure to apartment REITs in the near term, but it also provides an opportunity for these highly liquid companies to continue to expand their portfolio at discounted prices. Avalon Bay currently pays an annual dividend of $6.36 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of nearly 4%. You can currently buy shares of Avalon Bay at a forward valuation of just 16.7 times next year's earnings, which is well below their five-year average of 22.2 times. Let's continue on with our apartment REIT trend, and that brings us to our fifth REIT, which is Essex Property Trust, stock ticker ESS. Essex Property Trust currently has a market cap of $14 billion, and on the year, shares are down 40%. ESS is not at the level of Avalon Bay or Equity Residential, which is the second largest apartment REIT in the space, but Essex is still a high quality and the cheapest in the apartment REIT space right now. Essex has roughly 65,000 apartment units currently confined to the West Coast. This apartment REIT is a pure play West Coast REIT with many properties in the technology suburbs in Northern California, locations also in Southern California and all the way up to Seattle, Washington. ESS shares currently earn an annual dividend of $8.80 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 4.2%. The company is also a dividend aristocrat as well as they have hiked their dividend for 28 consecutive years and they have a five-year dividend growth rate of 
ESS trades at a forward AFFO valuation of just 15 and a half times compared to a five-year average of 22.6. That is over a 30% discount to their historical valuation. Many of these REITs that we're going over right now, I hold within my portfolio. And if you're interested in seeing more of what I have in my dividend portfolio, then you can sign up for the Dividend Investor's Edge, which is my weekly newsletter that goes out each and every week to all subscribers. I will leave a link to that down in the description below. The sixth REIT for 2023 is Digital Realty Trust, stock ticker DLR. Digital Realty is a data center space with a market cap of $30 billion. On the year, shares are down 43%. Digital Realty owns real estate that is filled with computer servers to which they lease out to various different companies. These companies don't own servers and are looking for more safe, stable, and reliable servers in order to protect their data and utilize everything over the cloud. This continues to be a growing space as more and more companies go digital. Not all companies have the capital, nor do they want to shell out millions of dollars to build out their own facilities and maintain it. The large tech giants are building out their own, but they still rely on companies like Digital Realty. However, this is one major argument against data center REITs like DLR, who has seen famed short investors come out with short reports with this very argument. The stock is down big on the short reports, but the company fundamentals and the results tell a way different story as growth remains steadfast. Shares of DLR currently pay an annual dividend of $4.88 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 4.9%, a great yield for a company like DLR. The company has hiked the dividend for 18 consecutive years and has a five-year dividend growth rate of 5.6%. In terms of valuation, you can pick up shares of DLR on the cheap as they trade at just 15.6 times next year's earnings compared to a five-year average of 21.6 times. The seventh REIT on our list is Alexandria Real Estate, stock ticker ARE. Alexandria Real Estate is a REIT that I recently added to my portfolio, and they are technically an office REIT, which might scare off some investors, but they're not your regular or your average office REIT. Alexandria Real Estate owns and operates and develops collaborative life sciences, technology, and ag tech campuses. They are a safe, reliable, and in-demand property type that continues to grow and expand. Alexandria Real Estate currently has a market cap of $24 billion, and on the year, shares are down 33%. The company earns 49% of their annual rent from either investment grade or publicly traded companies with public financials. This builds in a level of safety for the company and its investors. Alexandria hiked their dividend twice in 2022 and now pays an annual dividend of $4.84 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 3.4%. The company has hiked their dividend for 13 consecutive years in counting and has a five-year dividend growth rate of 6.1%. Looking at valuation, shares of Alexandria Real Estate currently trade for just 20.5 times compared to a five-year average of 30 times. So you're getting a sizable discount right now in shares of Alexandria Real Estate. Now let's move on to the A3 for 2023, which is CubeSmart, stock ticker C-U-B-E. CubeSmart hails from the self-storage sector. They currently have a market cap of $9 billion, making them the third largest self-storage REIT behind the likes of Public Storage and Extra Space, both great REITs in themselves. For years, I have owned Public Storage as they've been a great high quality REIT, but at the end of last year, I sold out a lot of my position of Public Storage and by summertime, I initiated a position in CubeSmart, which on the year they are down 25% overall, but my shares have squeaked out a 1% gain thus far. CubeSmart continues to grow at a strong clip and self-storage is a rather recession resistant space. Here in America, we love to buy things. Many people are hoarders. When times are great, we buy too much crap and we need a self-storage unit to hold those things. When times are tough, people are often downsizing their homes, but still want to keep many of the things, so they need a self-storage unit. CubeSmart has an easy to use digital feel that customers like where they can easily book reservations and the growth shows. Shares of CubeSmart pay an annual dividend of $1.96 per share, which equates to a high dividend yield of 4.8%. The company has been increasing its dividend for 11 consecutive years and counting and has a five-year dividend growth rate of 9.75%. 
In terms of valuation, shares of Cube currently trade at 15.7 times next year's AFFO earnings, compared to a five-year average of 20.2 times. The ninth REIT for 2023 is Vici Properties, stock ticker VICI. Vici Properties is a gaming and hospitality REIT, and they happen to be the largest landlord on the Las Vegas Strip. Vici Properties currently has a market cap of $32 billion. On the year, Vici has been one of the top performing REITs in 2022, as shares are up 10%. The company owns properties such as Caesars Palace, MGM Grand, and The Venetian, and many, many more. Regardless of whether we are in a recession or not, you rarely ever see vacancies along the Las Vegas Strip, which is why Vici has put many of their chips in that region. They do own a diversified portfolio of properties with many other properties outside of the Nevada area as well. The company owns properties that have very long master lease structures with a weighted average remaining lease term of a whopping 43.7 years. In addition, when the time is right, the company owns another 34 acres of undeveloped land near the Las Vegas Strip as well. During the pandemic, the company maintained a 100% collection rate, which never wavered. Very impressive considering we saw some REITs have collections drop to 50% or lower. This speaks to the strength of the portfolio and the strength of the company's operators. Also, Vici has a 4.7% dividend yield, which is plenty safe with an AFFO payout ratio of 79%. The company has increased their dividend every year they have been public, which is now up to four years. The past three years, the company has hiked their dividend an average of 9% per year. In terms of valuation, Vici currently trades at 15.7 times next year's AFFO earnings, which is still below their recent historical average of 16.4. The 10th and final REIT for 2023 that we will cover today is Agree Realty Corporation, stock ticker ADC. Agree Realty is similar in many aspects to that of Realty Income. They are a net lease retail REIT as well. However, the company is much smaller than Realty Income as they currently have a market cap of just $6 billion, making them the smallest REIT we are covering today. Small in stature though, does not have to mean any drop off in quality, as Agree Realty is a very quality REIT, making a name for themselves as the years go on. On the year, shares of ADC are up 1%, but still down 11% from their all-time highs reached in August of 2022. Over the past five years, shareholders have enjoyed a total return of 66% with a compounding average annual return of 12.4% since IPO in 1994. The dividend has grown at a compound annualized rate of 5.8% over the past decade. And like Realty Income, Agree Realty also focuses on high quality tenants as the company currently earns 67.5% of their annualized rent from investment grade tenants. Some of these top tenants include Walmart, Tractor Supply Company, Dollar General, Best Buy, and TJ Maxx. Grocery stores is the sector in which the company has the largest exposure to, accounting for 9.4% of annual base rent, followed by home improvement, auto service locations, convenience stores, and dollar stores, all of which will perform fine in a recession. 87% of the portfolio consists of industry leaders and national brands. Agree Realty pays out an annual dividend of $2.88 per share, which equates to a solid dividend yield of 4.1%. The company has increased their dividend for 10 consecutive years now. In terms of valuation, ADC trades at 18.2 times compared to a five-year average of 20.7 times. Why the premium to a company like Realty Income, you might ask? Well, Agree Realty is in a much faster growth mode right now. Again, they are much smaller and they're continuing to expand their portfolio. Just this past quarter, Agree Realty acquired 98 properties, totaling $360 million. I will definitely do a future video comparing the likes of Realty Income and Agree Realty. I think that would be a cool comparison for those of you that are interested in these types of REITs to see. Well, that wraps up my list of the top 10 REITs to buy in the year 2023. Interest rates continue to rise, which should put some pressure, but over the past two decades, 
REITs have been a top performing asset class. So do not shy away from these types of investments as they are a way to add real estate exposure to your portfolio. Down in the comments section below, let me know which of these REITs you believe will outperform in the year 2023. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button down below as that is huge for the growth of this channel moving forward. And with that being said, I again, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Take care and happy new year.